Let's learn how to turn a YouTube video into an article you can put on your own website. Why do we want to do this? For one, you're only helping YouTube when you put a YouTube video on it. They're getting the money from that revenue. If you get ads shown on that video, you might see a tiny bit of it, but they're getting most of it. So you basically created something and then YouTube profited. If, however, that article was also on your website, whatever you put on that video turned into an article on your website, then you can start getting traffic to your website from Google. That means those people who might have found only the YouTube video have a chance to also find your own website with the same exact content. So take the video you made, which is over on YouTube, put it over here with some text, with some images, you've got an article. Boom, now you get a chance of getting the traffic instead of YouTube. So that's a better thing if you have a website. And in general, if you don't have a website, start one so that you can start putting your YouTube videos on your own website and doubling your search engine exposure. Because when you have a YouTube video, that can show up in Google as a number one result if you did a good job. And if you have an article based on that YouTube video, you can show up as your own website as the number two result. That's pretty cool. You could basically dominate a certain part of, you, of Google's search engine if you got the right words in the right order and put them on YouTube and your website. You could be number one and number two results. As an example of this, let's load up a website uh, article I made, or actually a YouTube video I made, about how to view solar eclipses with a pinhole camera. That's a pretty straightforward headline, and it was designed to be straightforward so people could search for that and find my article. This is the article. It's about three minutes long. I have this article on my own personal website, and you can see it's got the same headline, How to View Solar Eclipses with a Pinhole Camera, as the article or as the video on YouTube. That's important. Make sure when you do this and you make your YouTube video into an article, Keep the headline from the YouTube video the same for your article. And this is a few sentences. All of this is basically just designed so that someone who was searching uh, solar eclipses pinhole camera could find my article on my website instead of on YouTube. For example, with the same keyword, solar eclipse pinhole camera on Google, we are not the number one or two result, but we are in the stream now. If I scroll down, the number 29 result is our article. And you can see I posted it on April 9th, which is the day of the eclipse that we had in America. And it's, it's already to the number three page of Google. You know, there's every page shows roughly 10 listings, 15-ish. And we got there. So if more people find this article, then it moves up the rank and eventually it can be the number one result, eventually. But first, the trick is making that article in the first place. And it's probable you don't wanna do all the work again if you already made this video. So what you can do is take the video, which has a transcript, YouTube automatically transcribes and turns the words into text. And you can take that transcript, which is available under here, show transcript, It'll show you right here. And you can select all of this. And I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna hit Control, Copy. And you can take it into an AI like ChatGPT. And you can say, I have a YouTube video that I want to turn into an article for my personal website. Here's the transcript, and, and then I'll paste that, I'll put quotes, and I will now say, and here are some images from the video for your context. And now we don't have those images, but we can make them very easily. Go back to your video, go ahead and start playing and find an image that you really want like an image that represents a part of your article well. For me, it'll probably be in about three or four seconds when there's a shot of both the phone and the camera at the same time. Okay, so this is what I want. So now I have this the way I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot. And I'm going to select just the part of the image 
that I want. I'm going to remove the YouTube, all this stuff at the bottom here. I'm going to remove that. And I'm also going to make the image a little, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to hit capture. It'll capture just that selected area. And now I can do another one right here for another image. Just hit screenshot, capture the same exact space because it'll save the bounding box if you're on a Mac. And then do that a few more times until you have five or six, seven images that, uh, you know, run the, the length of your video. You should have an image from the beginning and some images from the middle and an image from the end so that ChatGPT has a little bit more context. And I'm going to now upload those images we just downloaded or we just created. And I'm going to put them right here as well as these ones in here, which I got earlier today, back when I thought I was making this how-to video, but it turned out I wasn't recording the video of this. So I wasn't actually talking to anyone but myself for like 20 minutes. But, and also the internet wasn't working last time I tried to do this. So we'll see how much better today is because it's uploading these photos right now. All of these are now going to a server for a computer to look at, analyze, understand, and then try to figure out how they match with the text we uploaded. Now we've uploaded our photos. I'm going to give it a final bit of direction for what it should do now that it has both the transcript and the photos. So it's gonna say, okay, you gave me all these ingredients. What do you want me to produce with them? And I'm going to tell it. From these, I'm gonna say ingredients, Please produce a 400 to 500 word article that I can put on my personal blog. Um, please, please use the tone and words from the transcript to create your article and make the finished article seem like it came from the same author as the video's transcript author. Now we wait. Let's imagine our article is satisfactory right out the gate. Let's, let's say this is good. It is good. It's, it can be better. It can be better, but it's good. So we'll take our article and we'll go to our website. And I'm going to make a new post. And I'm really just gonna, this is as simple as it gets. I'm going to paste that text that ChatGPT gave me into the section here that says visual add text. And then I'm going to just insert a few of those images that I out output from my own computer, those screenshots that we gave to ChatGPT. I'm going to put those in this article. That's it. So first I'll upload them. They're all in one folder. All right, let's add this one into our post. Let's add this one, and then we'll add another one. And let's make our featured image the camera. There we go. And now, oh, you know what we should also do? We should make sure we embed our video. We have such a good video here. We should really copy that and add it. Now we have an article. Uh, I would publish this if I were making this for the first time, but I'm, I'm not. So I'm not going to publish it. I'm instead going to click and pretend to publish and pretend this is our article.
as you make these articles, you can go through each of the bits of text and decide if it represents the way you speak or not. For the most part, I feel that when I originally made this article, I did the exact same process and I probably changed only a few lines and most of that was removing things, you know, just cutting out stuff that was unnecessary. So, if you are a YouTuber, if you've made a lot of videos where you tell people about stuff or you document processes of things, I think this technique of taking those videos, turning them into articles for your own personal website, I think it can dramatically increase the overall exposure you're getting for the things you're talking about. Generally, you're going to get twice as much search engine traction if you have two articles, one on YouTube, same on your website. So my advice, take all your back catalog and start putting them on the internet because frankly, not everybody reads. That's not true. That's true. Not everybody reads, but also not everybody watches videos. So it's kind of like if you're only making videos, then you're never going to find the readers. And if you're only making text, you're never going to find the video watchers. But with this method, you can do both and it doesn't take that much more effort. I think it's going to be fun. I want to hear your thoughts, so please let me know if there are questions. I had a good time showing this, and uh, that's it for me.